It was Robert Kennedy who said, progress is a nice word, and change is its motivator, and change has its enemies. Sugar-sweetened beverages, also known as SSBs, have been causing serious health concerns in America. There is also a dispute that sugar-sweetened beverages and a syntax implemented on sugar-sweetened beverages might have a shift or impact employment rates as well. Today we're going to address how a 20% syntax might impact employment rates. And while we review, what you're going to see is arguments on both sides. You'll see the positive and you'll also see the negative impacts on employment rates by the 20% syntax. You'll also see how there might be a happy medium if there are alternative solutions. And my goal today is to address arguments of potential impacts that a 20% sales syntax on sugar sweetened beverages might have on employment rates. The information that I'm going to provide for you comes directly from a macroeconomic simulation model that shows impacts on employment rates by syntax. When, while we begin, what we're going to start looking at is the potential increase in employment rates, then we'll address the arguments of a decrease from employment rates, and then we'll also focus our attention on alternative solutions and how they can resolve some of the concerns about impacts on employment rates. Let's begin by showing how, or discussing how employment rates increase. People argue that employment rates are not changed by taxes. However, we see visible changes in purchasing habits towards non-sugar sweetened beverages. The article that we used called Employee Impact on Sugar Sweetened Beverage Taxes offers statistics from a simulation model that shows employment rates stay the same or are increased when alternative solutions are added to a source of intake for Americans. Now let's look at the argument that people might have or might be concerned about the loss of jobs because of decreased sales in sugar sweetened beverages. The, the fear that Americans may lose jobs that are coming from the decreased purchases of sugar sweetened beverages is actually debunked when employers offer alternative solutions and those sales increase. The same article that we use, we use shows that decreases in sales for sugar sweetened beverages are actually offset by increase in sales for non-sugar sweetened beverages. So it's also showing that the decrease in employment rates is very rare because of the offset. So we've talked about the increase and the decrease. What are, all, what are the alternatives to sugar sweetened beverages? Beverages that contain sugar are what our big concern is for our health. Syntax help guide people to healthier solutions. So they're added to non-healthy solutions, aka sugar sweetened beverages. So the article actually shows that a shift in healthier buying habits from Americans has actually created more job security. What is happening with the job security is that the staffing needs for the shift in buying habits has helped employers keep their jobs. If a company is actually offering um, non-sugar sweetened beverages, they can say the shift is moving towards non-sugar sweetened beverage and we can keep those employees. If they don't offer that alternative solution, then employers who do offer it are going to take those employees and staff those needs and demands. So today what we talked about was how a 20% syntax on sugar sweetened beverages can impact employment rates. While we reviewed, you saw the negative and positive impacts and the potentials for a happy medium through our alternative solution. My goal was to address the argument of the impact of a 20% syntax and how it might, what it might do to employment rates. And statistics actually settled those arguments. They showed that an increase in employment rates or a steady employment rates are evident because of the need for meeting the demand. Decreases in, decreases in employment rates were rare because of staffing needs and the increase in buying habits towards non-sugar sweetened beverages. Other studies have also been available that are similar to these 20% syntax and how they impact other non 
healthy or unhealthy uh, products, including the tobacco industry. Just remember that it's important to be heard and address your concerns when it comes to healthy living. Make sure you make a difference when issues impact your life, your health, and your family.